You know, the technique for this is pretty simple. You, know, you cover a lot of water, you hit your button, you drop your, you drop your spoon down to the bottom, and uh, sometimes it'll stop while it's going down. You pump it a couple times, you reel it up and do it again. And uh, you start covering a lot of water like that, you can be a, really effective in this type of technique and cover a tremendous amount of water until you hit that wad of fish. When you hit that wad of fish, just keep dropping it in the same area and drop it in there as fast as you can because once you get them fired up, it's amazing how many bites in a row you might get. You know, you get in these slips, and a lot of the guys that are really good at this, I, I get to making a mistake. I get to doing it too tight line. You really want this bait to fall on a lot of slack line. It'll flutter and flop as it goes down like that. And that's what that bait fish is looking like that's distressed. And uh, when you'll do that, a lot of times when you pick up on that deal, it's just going to load up and go down on you. There's one. There we go. Little bitty guy. All sizes. Well, I had to work that pole over. I probably dropped it and jerked and twisted three, four different casts around that one pole right there before that fish bit. Got him that time, though. This is so much fun just doing this like this. To me, now all I'm doing is real, literally in this marina, and I'm just going along and taking my big old spoon here. And I've changed the hook out and put a trocar on there, a little bit sharper. And I just go drop it right there and I watch it fall on slack line, <laughs> engage my reel, and then I just start twitching it up and down like that. Every now and then that line jumps and something takes off swimming with it. So.